pledge of allegiance, please. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All order the roll call, starting on my right. Councilperson Josh Arndt. Councilperson Brent Fire. Mayor Jimmy John King. Councilperson Craig Anderson. Councilperson Jeremiah Old. Wow, we're all here. Now we're going to start with some presentations to start the meeting with. Once again, the city has received some awards from different departments. The first one I got tonight is a certificate of commendation for the wastewater treatment facility. It's an operational award. It's presented to the city of Sturfield Wastewater Treatment Plant and its staff. Jeff, are you here to accept this award? I guess so. Come on. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Mark, you got your camera? Camera. Yeah, <laughs> it's in recognition of exceptional compliance with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. Your dedication to protecting Minnesota's waters are duly recognized and appreciated by the state of Minnesota and all the people in Sturfield. someone who gets very little recognition, he gets his less and less uh, area to sit on every year, not only from the mayor and maybe some of the council members, but he has to handle complaints from all the citizens in town, and he does never get the recognition he deserves, and that's for Bill Schimmel, city administrator. He's going to receive an International City County Management Association honor. 35 years of service to local government. William Schimmel, will you step up, please? <laughs> Maybe we can turn some lights off. So yeah, just to reflect. <laughs> 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 not getting out of there. Both ends get uh, worn so down. The glare isn't so bad. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> yeah. You will. Hold on to your award. <laughs> Keep my smile natural. Bill, say something. Do one of your shimmels. No, just the half show. It's no. Your, it's your chance for some recognition. You deserve it. We've all been doing a great job here. When you got a great team to work with, with all my fellow employees. No matter where on the spectrum they are and what department they're in, and obviously the council uh, makes it a great place to work and keep us keeps us all going, I guess. And I think I can speak for all of us. Um, our hearts are in this, and we want you all to look good. And we want our community to look good. So hopefully we can keep that going. You're doing a great job, Bill. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bill. I'm <laughs> looking for approval of tonight's agenda. So Any additions from staff? Any table? Motion to approve. So moved. Second? Second. We've got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Let them carry. Approval of council meeting minutes of the regular meeting of March 22nd, 2022. I'll make a motion to approve those minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Questions or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It's also approved. That will take us on to finance and budget. We have the accounts payable and the additional accounts listing. So questions, direct them to, excuse me, finance director Carla. I do see why the wastewater treatment facility got give us an award after a $5,900 annual fee. It pays to know the right people, though. I'll make a motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Questions or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
That'll take us into motions and general business. First item under general business is a variance request. Uh, variance request at 207 Third Street Southwest. Jeff Byrne is requesting a two foot variance for the required sum of 16 foot side yard setback per section 1330.05 development requirements. The plan he has is to tear down the current house and build a townhome. The two foot variance would result in each side yard being seven and seven feet and one quarter inch from the property line. <coughs> Planning Commission Elder here is recommending approval of the variance. Planning Commission member, do you have anything to add or say? No, it, everything looked good on the on the drawings that you guys got. So we approved it. Any questions or discussion from the table? Uh, council action requested then would it be approved the two foot variance as requested? We have a motion? So moved. We have a motion, we have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That will carry. Next item is another variance request. 502 Brim Court Southeast. Oops. It's at the Arnold's household. They're requesting a 13 foot variance from the required 15 foot setback as per section 1375.75 sub B1. The property is located in the corner of Brim Court Southeast, Fifth Avenue Southeast. Our home sits seven feet from the property line. Ordinance requires that the fence be placed 15 feet from the property line, which you see is impossible. They are proposing a four foot chain link fence to start five foot out from the back of the house and extend to the rear property line. Planning Commission held a public hearing. They're recommending approval of the variance. Anything to say about this, Josh? No, everything looks good. This is just for a fence, right? Yeah. Okay, because I was just looking at their drawing, I couldn't figure out. It shows the house and it shows the garage and then. Behind, so there must be a deck or something behind the garage of ways or something? What is no, that? that's the perimeter of the fence, the little dashed line. No, I see that. What is that square? 16 by 10? Yeah, it's a shed. Oh, it's a shed. Yeah. Looking at that. I'm trying to see it on the. Yeah. Anyhow, I have to find that one. Any other questions or discussion? Hearing none, we have a motion to approve the variance as requested. We'll make a motion to approve. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. It was second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Double carry. The next is a conditional use permit, 405 South Main Street, Williams. Let's see. Williams <coughs> are requesting a conditional use permit to allow for a fence in a B1 zone as per section 1375.27 sub C1. Fence will not be around the whole perimeter of the yard, but just the east section that borders his neighbor's backyard. The planning commission is recommending approval of this conditional use permit. <coughs> the PNZ board was all in favor of the answer to this. Yes. Correct. Any questions or discussion on this one from the table? Hearing none, we look for a motion to approve the conditional use permit as requested. Make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That will carry. Next under motions general business, construction project, alley north of the high school. At the end of the uh, 2021 year, council approved collaborating with Sturfield High School to redo the alleyway that is adjacent to the northwest parking lot <coughs> and the parking spaces. This is from 6th Avenue Southwest to 4th Avenue Southwest. During the 2008 CIP, the water main on the short stub of 4th Avenue, it wasn't approved. The alleyway has significant alligator cracking and the guard was deteriorating. City engineer Overnolte estimated the project was going to be 190,000. This was to include a 10% contingency, reclaiming, paving, and replacing guardrails. In that original estimate was 30,000 for water main work that is no longer needed. The estimate from the school is 156,600, which includes ELA and a 10% contingency. There will be some additional engineering costs, but not to exceed the original estimate. 
Funds will be allocated from the water for the water main work and street maintenance and reserves for other portion. What other, my question, I guess, on one is, Jenna, what other engineering are you expecting to be? Um, Sean and I actually kind of talked about this, but there will be some for the surveying, which actually comes from the, um, uh, the high school's engineer. They'll be doing the surveying and stuff. And then as far as checking things during construction and everything. But when you say uh, not to exceed original estimate, are we talking about your original estimate? Not to exceed the 190? Or? That's what we have put in there. The, this is more, SEH is not really, not we, we went through the school's engineer to say, so I'm going to do a lot of the inspections and stuff like that because we're not having a street project, so we're not going to have an inspector down here. So to cut costs down, uh, the only addition we put in there were if we need some extra advice or whatever and as we're going through this stuff. So we don't anticipate a lot, but we wanted to put something in there just to cover our tracks to the worst case scenario. And for clarification on the cost being allocated from the water main, but then previously there wasn't water main work. There is some work, we just aren't replacing the main. We're going to um, remove the hydrant, and then they're going to dig down and cap and just abandon that main, it's not necessary. So there's a little bit of work there. Any other questions or discussion? Well, then the motion we're looking for is to approve or deny the alleyway project adjacent to the school. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Next item will be swimming pool maintenance, replacement of the vacuum. Swimming pool vacuum. The new pool vacuum is needed. The old equipment is becoming obsolete. There are numerous hoses and attachments to get out, and multiple employees are needed to operate it. A new filter, which is $150, is needed every year. Additionally, other vacuum parts are failing due to age and use. This new vacuum will save us time and expense. It only needs one person to operate. It will clean the entire pool in a couple hours, as well as clean the sides of the pool. The new vacuum's capabilities will enable staff and access areas of the pool that are difficult to get at. The cost of the vacuum from Thatcher Pools and Spas is $4,949.10. The pool has funds in their capital budget to cover this. Uh, questions? Discussion on this? Brent? No questions. Council action requested them to we'll be approved or deny the pool vacuum replacement from Thatcher Pools and Spas. Do you want to make sure that it doesn't raise any of the costs of the treats at the pool? <laughs> nope. Do we have a motion? We'll make a motion to approve then. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That will carry also. Next one is to reschedule May 24th council meeting because of special primary election. Due to the special primary election to be held for Hagedorn's position, the scheduled meeting for Tuesday, May 24th, will need to change to either May 23rd, Monday, or Wednesday, May 25th. One other option is to keep it the 24th, but we won't start till 8 p.m. Council actions to change the May 24th council meeting to what do you guys feel is going to work the best for everybody? If you can promise there's only one thing on the agenda, I can do eight, but otherwise I'd say Monday would be my first time. Monday at seven? I don't have my work calendar for everybody, but it should be That would be my first choice. Any other discussion on it? No matter. What day no is matter? Memorial Day? Um, huh? Um, is that oh, is that Memorial Day? Is that Monday? That's not Monday. That's Monday. Memorial Day is late. Memorial Day is late. 30th. That's not look at the main calendar, too. I don't know. That's the fourth Monday of the month. Uh, the Monday works for me. That works for you? That works That's weird. So the fourth Monday falls the same week as the fourth Tuesday? <laughs> that was good deductive reasoning. Nice job, John. It looks like we're going, we're leaning towards Monday. Monday. Is that what I'm hearing from the council? Should work. Sure. All right. 
So somebody make a motion to change it to Monday, May 23rd, 7 p.m. Okay. Motion to move to the Monday, May 23rd, 7 p.m. Second. All right. Motion's been made. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carries. Monday it is. Shut my work down in case you can see what's going on. <laughs> All right. Last item on our motion, gentlemen. This looks like this is just a discussion item for right now. <coughs> but it's the City Hall East Alley. The alley right here runs between Bremer and our City Hall all, all the way back to the down towards the nursing home. That was part of this year's project, correct? Correct. And that can be pulled out and bid separately? Correct. So, uh, and that estimate was about what I'm at now? Just over 300. Well, no. There's a water main in there, correct? The water main in there that would be replaced. Um, we've had, had recent breaks in the area. We would also be um, abandoning part of the sanitation. Actually has a deficiency in it, but it's not needed. So that was in the plans, and then it includes a connection trail around the pond. Um, so the majority of those items, um, I was just in a meeting today talking about what items out there are having the biggest uh, increases in cost right now, and the majority of those items are not included on that list. So. One thing with that water main there, we have had several breaks there over the last past few years, and that is a shallow water main. It's only like four feet deep, so we have to insulate over the top of that uh, with that with that main through there. When can we bid that? How soon can we bid that? How soon? Um, we would have to come next council meeting and request for authority to advertise, and then it would be. Oh. <coughs> If you want to add, move that meeting back to Tuesday or Wednesday, then we could be awarding it that day. Otherwise, we can't award it until June. If you want to do what now? The meeting you just moved to Monday oh, has to go back to Tuesday or Wednesday because I need three weeks from advertisement in the paper, which is only ran on a Tuesday, and before we can open. Yeah, we're to change the editing of the paper. You know, right? <laughs> well, then we want to be advertising. You want to be advertising until July. <coughs> or you could. What? Could be. Well, technically, that comes up Monday night, doesn't it? The paper? No, you have to use the uh, actual publication. We have to use the actual publication date of the paper since this is a project that's over $175,000 and it needs three weeks from the date published before we can let the bids. So that would be oh, I see. May 24th. So, so if there is a consensus, we could have at least a motion maybe to approve that. If there is a consensus and we, well, we need a resolution and a motion to um, set the bid date, then we can move it up two weeks. Should be helpful. Tonight, make the motion. And sure, up and find the resolution number you could assign to your vote. Yeah, and, and then then we could actually. So if you authorize that we advertise next Tuesday, then we could open an award on May tenth. But if we don't do that tonight, then it will either we have to move that meeting you just moved so we can authorize and approve on the twenty fourth or twenty fifth. Or we can't authorize until June. And we're hoping to give them as much flexibility during this construction season because that usually can reflect on better bid pricing. So the more time they have to. Who's responsible? Is the, is the city responsible for all that? Correct. And nobody else? Yeah, this would have been so our portion of costs, even in the yeah, one piece part. Right. Um, and it needs fixing. <clears throat> the other part to this is we would be going low bid on this one. So state statute says we can only do one best value bid every year for the first three years that we do best value. So we did one. So we can't do another one. 
for this one. It would be a little bit. What do you think? Next thing we move forward with it. Jeremiah? Did you say you? I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Brad, what do you think about it? I guess it don't matter to me. There might be some upset people. I want the, their street done too. But You're talking about a street that wasn't going to be yep. done until next year, anyhow. We already had this discussion on the phone. Josh? I'm fine with moving ahead. I think it'd be good to at least get something done this summer. And it's not going to fall. That's not, we're not doing that though. This is the district. We're paying for it. <laughs> That's all it counts. Who pays for it? <laughs> That's true. But I think this way it's not going to impact any any people, right? It's, yeah, so it's not impact assessments for very, very few. Okay, Jeremiah. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I. What are your concerns? Okay. Well, so it was it was the whole we can't we have to do a little bid and we gotta start getting away from a little bid for various reasons. And yeah, we don't have any choice. Yeah, no we don't. Even if you so, go next year. It's a, I mean I guess even though so this is a, a smaller project. Right. So. Well, if you bid it all together at the other road, otherwise it'd be yeah, two. Right. If you put it back to that, we would do Yeah, so either either way, we, we have to do this one. <coughs> okay. I'm good with that. Is that a motion? Move forward? I'll move, move to move forward. Second? I'll second that. You got a motion to second? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. And just to clarify, that is to advertise next Tuesdays? Yep. Okay. There will be a resolution assigned to it, a number, so. All right, that takes us out of motions and general business and puts us in the mayor, staff, and salt reports. Tonight, the city of Sturfield would like to send their sympathy to the families of Ron Olson, Irene Call, Vernon Anderson, James Wallace, Helen Holtop, Carol Nelson, Bobby Bell, and Barbara Newbauer passed away and we had her services here a week ago and the great contribution she made to our city too. The Sons of the American Legion will be holding their annual Easter egg hunt this Saturday starting at 10 a.m. Is that out for the Legion? Um, the SYAA shot at their cave. SYAA shot at their cave, all right. Sturfield Area Churches will be holding their Good Friday workshop at the Civic Center this Friday at 11 a.m. 11 a.m., excuse me. The Dad's Belgian Waffle and Sausage Breakfast will be held on Sunday, April 24th at the American Legion. That's put on by the lines. Now, we are seeking applicants to fill our pool positions this summer. Jake will be at the job fair on April 20th at the high school. Stop by and drop your app off. To, they can drop them off here too, can't they? All right, City Hall. Don't forget our citywide garage sale will be May 5th through the 7th. When we get done with that, they're followed up by our citywide cleanup days, which will be Saturday, May 14th from 8 a.m. till noon, and Wednesday, May 18th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And because of an oversight of mine last meeting, I didn't get to introduce the man behind the camera. We have a new one now. Wyatt, stand up a second so we can all see you. This is the man that does it for us now, does our camera and sound work, and makes us all look good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Wyatt. And from mayor, and council, and city staff, and the entire city of Sturfield, to the entire city of Sturfield, happy Easter. Make it a blessed day, spend some time with your family. Hopefully we can enjoy some decent weather this weekend for you. And that's all I've got from here. Can I take us on to the city administrator's report? Uh, reports in your packet. Add is actually an extra item. Uh, the county is completing the uh, redistricting process. 
And so most of the recent news has been about the city of Rochester's redistricting. Well, now they finally got the proposed plan for the countywide uh, area. And they're going to be sending those maps to us here at City Hall and the library tomorrow and or um, on the 14th. And so they'll be available for public review. They're also asking if the public does have any comments uh, to get those in. There's going to be some kind of comment card that they're going to have available there. Um, and then those get turned in next week on the 19th because there's a countywide public hearing that they're able to accept comments from our citizenry on the proposed redistricting. So uh, we'll have those maps available here you know, or at the library. So if you get questions from citizens, they can review them there. And then you can also co co contact the county too, um, elections area and um, planning and so, all right. Thank you, Bill. Yep. Any questions for the administrator? <clears throat> Thanks, Bill. Uh, that takes us to Finance Director Carla. You got a report? Just an update. Um, working with the auditors, getting the 2021 audit completed. I have asked for a date so we know when we have the preliminary audit to go through, then we'll set a finance meeting um, and then from there we will get the date set for um, Andrew to come to council and present. Any questions for finance director? All right, thank you Carla. That'll take us to the public works director report. Sean? Uh, the report's in there. The one thing I want to touch on was I've been working on getting numbers for our ponds. Uh, we had some ponds that we were looking at trying to improve the water quality in Georgetown Pond. We have that was a regional pond being one of them. Uh, the pricing we've got, we looked at, we, we had set aside $30,000 to do a couple of ponds, but in looking at the size of these ponds, it's going to take probably <laughs> more than that. Uh, and looking at the pricing, we pulled up what our other fountain does and the other pond runs a one horsepower pump over there, and it averages $500 a month while the pump is running for the runtime over there. If we do the Georgetown pond, it's gonna be around $17,000 for the pumps themselves, and then it's an additional probably thousand dollars a month to run the two pumps, they want it, and that'll be a monthly electricity bill. <laughs> um, we looked into other areas of doing aeration, uh, which would be significantly cheaper, but because the pond is only a three and a half foot deep pond, they recommend the fountain instead of aeration. Uh, we're also weighing chemical treatment, having someone come down and go through us with a plan as far as what we can do with chemical treatment on it to see what that route is. Just wanted to give you guys some information on what we're looking at. If you have some feedback now as what you're thinking, if this fountain is going to be too expensive to consider or is it something we want to consider, what route do you want me to go or are you leaning towards? I'll still follow through on the chemical treatment that we've got coming. Uh, any feedback from you guys or I'll just keep getting all the numbers and come back at the end and throw it out there and say these are all the numbers once I have them. Anybody got anything for Sean? Want to run all the numbers by first before we go? Probably so. Sure we'll end up doing that. I still like the phones, but I guess we gotta, I know we got to look at the price and stuff. So. Yeah, and, and I could care less either way. I'm so just going to get all the information. one phone? Huh? To run one fountain is it's a thousand bucks per fountain. It's five hundred bucks per month. But look on the fountain over at Florence, the fountain over here would be the same size, but we would need two of them because it's a bigger, it's an acre and a half pond as opposed to three quarter, not even three quarters an acre over Florence. So you need two fountains to do the job adequately in that size pond. But that makes a huge. I mean, it keeps everything moving, and for, I mean, for the most part, or do you not see a huge difference? Or well, they say that. You still need some chemical treatment, yeah. but that, that does, I mean, I've been watching videos and trying to learn as much of this stuff because this isn't my expertise, so I've been trying to learn, and, and I see bubblers are an effective way, but it's usually on a deeper pond because of the, the different strata, or the layers of the, the water, some of it becomes stagnant, the bottom becomes anaerobic, and the aeration keeps it all mixing, so it keeps it healthier and whatnot. So, and because they're such shallow ponds, the three and a half feet deep, uh, a fountain circulates that water and hits all depths, and it does a better job of forcing us up to the side is what they're 
So Sean, the seventeen thousand is for both pumps. I mean the two pumps. Pump? They're about eight to nine thousand per pump. Okay. That's what that the first called. one. And that's what yeah, we'd have electrical installation on top of that getting power to it, which I don't even know how far I got Matt Moe working on getting the numbers for that. So that would be on top of it. Jason, you got any leads on that one they took out of our pond? Was that posted on Facebook? <laughs> I think maybe we need to wait for some numbers. Yeah, we'll have to. You gave us something to think about now, Sean, so give us the numbers and we'll really think about it. Well, I, the one place that does the pumps, I, they said they would come down and go through a chemical maintenance on them and get pricing on that too, where we just treat them with chemicals every month that don't have a fountain out there to help with it. Uh, just like I said, it's all learning for me, so we'll jump in and see if we can figure out. Any questions for Sean? Sean, you had, I had nothing to do with that flower planter in front of City Hall. Well, you were the first one we thought of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been careful since. <laughs> Thank you. Janet, City Engineer's Report. Nothing to report. Okay. All the engineering's going good. Yeah, all right. Nate's not here, so the library director. Ranch is not here. Pool director is not here. That takes us to Committee and Commission Board Reports, Chamber of Commerce. You got the April newsletter. A lot of stuff in that newsletter to prove through when you get a second. Al, did you want to say anything at all? All right. EDA, HRA. Meetings from, uh, meeting minutes from the last meeting are in there. We're in another meeting next Tuesday. Yeah. Finance. Nothing. Library. Nothing. Park board. Um, minister in there next meeting is. Personnel. Nothing that I'm aware of. We can make a couple good hires. Well, uh, you know, I haven't heard any. Did you start? Mm -hmm. Did your, your the latest guy started already? With yeah. You? Yeah. Logan started last Thursday. Okay. Lions only. Oh, we had the uh, three things in our agenda tonight. I don't think so. Public safety. Did you want to add anything, Jason? Uh, calls to service are in there, but you yeah. Add? I'm glad you packed that. No new, no new news to offer, but I'll get out if you guys have any questions. All right. Thank you. Public works. Ready. Uh, minutes in your packet from their January meeting. Roll call. Uh, just brief uh, minutes there. Um, nothing new or additional. Nothing from Burke Transit Advisory Committee. Uh, no report. No report. No report. Communications none tonight. That'll take us to our open mic. City Council welcomes and encourages participation from community members. Please keep in mind that your comments must be pertinent to city business and must adhere to the data privacy rules. No employee's name may be used. Please do not expect action from the council this evening regarding your concerns. We also request that your comments be limited to four minutes. Speakers be recognized only once. At this time, we ask anyone who would like to address the city council to please step up to the podium, state your name and address. And I think we have Mr. Brian Mueller here. Yes. Would you like to step up, please, Brian? If I could, please take a minute of your time. My name is Brian Mueller. I'm from Rochester Township. Um, been on the Rochester Town Board 18 years, and the blue hair and rookery did me in. My seat was up, and I found I had a lot of free time. <coughs> so I talked with Matt Flynn, and he is obviously not running again. And I would like to uh, take his spot on seat four for county commissioner. Um, like I can say I'm from Rochester Township, and uh, I do have a farming background. Uh, I'm a self-employed uh, heavy equipment mechanic, so I've got some idea with business and stuff. So just need to get my name out, and that's what I'm bugging. So I'm hitting all the townships and finding out District Four is a really big district. <laughs> so. I didn't call that uh, Blue Heron deal that closely. Which side of that rookery were you on? For or against? And it, it actually, I would, now that's kind of a, if, uh, it's not that cut and dried, I could say. I know. I mean, you were to approve the de development there, though. Yeah. Yeah. The general development plan. Right. But right. now the thing was, was, no, I didn't want to see anything happen to the rookery. But the fact of the matter is, it's private property. Um, 
he was able to do what he wants with the property, can cut, log it, clear cut the woods, whatever he wanted to do. And the problem was, is we had a lot of people that didn't agree with that, but it almost comes down to owner's rights as far as that goes. So. I knew where it came down to, I just want to know where you stood on that. <laughs> <laughs> because I am part of that district. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's Not only the town, but out on the farm. So, mm -hmm. so that's, that's kind of where that, that's at. That's still an ongoing issue with uh, litigation and stuff, too. So. But anyway, that's so, my spiel. Any, any questions, questions for Brian when he's up there? You, uh, do these guys have contact information? somewhere because I highly suspect there will be questions between now and election time. <laughs> I know I will have. <laughs> yeah, um, do you do? Okay. Uh, and, uh, email. You're, uh, yeah, this seat is going to be, in my opinion, very important. So, I mean, just by the makeup of, I work in Rochester for the police department. I've worked up there for 24 years. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of changes going on up there. Yeah. And, um, yeah, change can be good, change can be not so good. And that's, I, you, have, you have a lot of weight. I mean, you've got big shoes to fill, you know that. Obviously. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. That's, and I believe part of that means you're going to run the chain gang at the varsity football game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'll be better. Slim's going to need help. Free admission. Yeah, there you go. Oh, good point. Farmer. Other than that, uh, for 35 over 35 years so I kind of tend to stay with one thing <laughs> that's a good way to put it I tried that once so. <laughs> <laughs> thanks Brian yeah, yeah thank, thank you very much uh, Brian. that brings us to the final motion of the evening I'll make a motion to adjourn we have a second all okay. um, in favor say aye aye opposed we're adjourned so, 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 so.